Hello everybody and welcome to another Fit For Good online session with me, Jordan. Now I hope you're ready for a really fun session today. Today we're going to do strength supersets. That's where we're going to pair one strength exercise with another and we're going to perform them in intervals. Now for today's session you will need a couple of things. Most importantly, is a bottle or a glass of water that is there, ready for you to drink whenever you are thirsty. The second thing you're gonna need is a set of weights. Now, if you've got your own dumbbells, feel free to use those. But if you don't, you can do what I'm doing. Today I'm gonna to use two cans of baked beans because they're easy to hold and they add a little bit of resistance for our strength work. That said, if you don't wanna use any weights today, then you don't have to because all of the movements can be performed with just your body weight. The only other thing you're gonna need is a chair or a sofa. Ah, lovely, something to sit on for when you need some rest. Oh, and for some of our exercises today too. So if you haven't got those things ready already, put the video on pause, go and get them, set yourself up and resume it when you're ready to go. Because we are going to warm up. Are we ready to go? Right, if you'd like to stand up, I'm gonna count you in, and when I do, you're gonna jog on the spot. I say jog on the spot, this can be a walk, jog, or run. Just remember, this is a warm up. We're trying to get ourselves warm, we're not trying to overdo it. Are we ready to go? Right, let me start my timer. When I count you in, you're going to do some jogging on the spot, nice and easy to begin. Right, three, two, one, and have a little jog. Stand nice and upright, shoulders back and down, chest nice and proud. Use your arms, use your legs, and breathe. In the nose, out the mouth. Great work so far. Lovely, we have 10 seconds, great stuff. Almost there, we have three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds rest before the next warm up exercise. And the next exercise is gonna be big shoulder circles. We're gonna go forward in three, two, one, let's go. Nice and slow with these, please. Nice, big, huge shoulder circles to warm up our shoulders. And change direction, please. Let's go backwards now. Really big circles, as big as you can make them. Great work, fantastic. That's the one. We have three, two, one, and have another rest there. When I count you back in, we're gonna do another cardio exercise. This time it would be star jumps, which can look like this, low impact, or like this, high impact. Get ready to go in three, two, one. You choose one. That's it, using your arms, using your legs. Trying to get our heart rates up, trying to get the whole body nice and warm. Great work so far. 10 seconds remaining, fantastic. Almost there. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's tough. Great work though, well done. Have a sit down. We're gonna do some sit to stands. Feet at your shoulders. Either hand on either shoulder, keep the elbows up. You're gonna stand up in three, two, one. Let's stand up and then lower slowly. Keep your elbows up the whole time. Both your feet want to stay nice and flat on the floor for the entirety of the movement. Fantastic, we have 15 seconds. Keep those elbows up as you go lower because that helps keep your chest up. Great work. Almost there, we have three, two, one. Ooh, 15 seconds of rest, great job. Next warm up exercise, we're gonna do some boxing punches. We're gonna go short, 
sharp punches in three, two, one. Let's go. Short, sharp punches in all directions. Up and down, left and right. Just really getting those arms nice and warm. Fantastic. Halfway through, 15 seconds to go. Great job. Lovely. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Well done. We have five. We have three, two, one. Great work. 15 seconds rest. I want you to stick your feet a little bit closer together. When I count you in, you're going to interlink your fingers. You're going to reach down towards the floor, reach up to the sky. In three, two, one. Let's go. Hamstrings and lower back. If you have any conditions, which mean you can't round through the spine, then keep your back nice and flat as you hinge forward. So you won't be able to go as low if that's the case. If not, you're reaching towards your toes and rounding through the spine and then reaching up. Lovely. 10 seconds, good stuff. Fantastic. Almost there. Three, two, one. Lovely. Our last warm up exercise today is going to be shoulder openers. You're going to cuddle yourself, you're going to bring the arms backwards and forwards. Let them swing in three, two, one. Let's go. Just watch out for anything around you. Don't want you hitting your arms into anything. Also, have a look around you on the floor after this movement. Just make sure there's nothing you can trip over and always be on the lookout for anything. Make sure you're working out in a nice, clear area. Lovely. Almost there. We have five seconds. Good stuff. Three, two, one. And have a rest there. Fantastic. Have a nice sit down. Have a sip of water, please. Lovely. Mm. Ah, lovely. And I want you to sip water throughout the class today whenever you feel thirsty. Even if that means you have to stop doing a movement, have some water and then continue. And that brings me on to my other point. Whenever you need rest today, just take it. Even if I haven't given you rest. You know, if it gets too much or it feels too tough or you're just a little bit tired today and you think, okay, I need to take a bit of rest, do it and then rejoin whenever you're ready. Anyway, that's our warm up done. If you don't feel warm enough yet, what I want you to do is rewind the video, do the warm up again, because it's very important that everything's nice and warm before we continue. We are now going to move on to our strength work. You did a great job, have a couple of minutes of rest, and I'm going to see you in a second for some great strength work. Let's do it, everybody. Great work so far. Right, are you ready for our strength supersets? Now the way it's gonna work is as follows. We're gonna have two exercises. You're gonna do the first one for 20 seconds, and then you're gonna have a 10 seconds rest. Then you're gonna do the second one for 20 seconds, and then you're gonna have a 10 seconds rest. That's one round complete. We're doing four rounds in total, which equals to four minutes in time. That is one superset complete. After the superset, you're gonna have a minute rest. Then we're gonna do another superset, which is four minutes again. Then you're gonna have a minute rest. And then we're gonna do a third and final superset, which again is another four minutes. And then we'll have a nice stretch afterwards. Now, I'm gonna go through the first two exercises. So just relax while I do that. Now. The first superset is an upper body, arm and shoulder based superset. Exercise number one is a bicep curl. Like so. Nice and easy. Lifting your weights or your arms up to your shoulders, keeping your elbows locked in. No swinging. Exercise number two is a tricep extension. Using one or two weights or none at all, you're going to hold the weight or weights behind your head and you're going to lower behind the head and then you're going to extend. 
keeping the elbows as tucked in close to the ears as possible. If you're gonna use two weights for this, stick them together behind you. Don't let them separate. That's the same if you're just gonna use your hands and your fists. Squeeze your fists together and do the movement. Right, I'll explain the other exercises when we get to them after this first superset. Are we ready to go? Fantastic, let me start my timer. So we're gonna start with our bicep curl. So if you're using weights today, please grab them now. And let's get ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. So nice controlled movement. No need to rush, we're only doing 20 seconds though. So not too slow, fantastic. In five seconds, you'll get a rest. Three, two, one, lovely. Get ready for our tricep extension. Put the weight or hands behind your head. Three, two, one, let's go. And straighten your arms behind your head. Keep the elbows tucked in, as best you can anyway. Fantastic. We have five seconds. Three, two, one. Great work. Back to our bicep curl. Take a deep breath in, get ready to go. Release the breath. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of our bicep curl. Good stuff. Working our forearms, our bicep of course, and a little bit of the shoulders as well, but we're having to squeeze them back and keep them in place. We have three, two, one. Good stuff. 10 seconds of rest. Get ready for our tricep extension. Working the triceps in three, two, one. Let's go, 20 seconds. You can also do this movement sitting down, which I'd advise if you start to feel it in your lower back. Great work, everybody, well done. We have five seconds, great work. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. That is halfway through these two movements. Bicep curls in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Certainly no swinging. Just nice, good, strict reps. Well done. We have five seconds. Great work. Three, two, one. Lovely. Onto our tricep extensions. Arms behind the head, close the elbows, get ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go. The tricep extension is likely to be the one that really starts to burn. I know I can feel it now. So it might be the case that you can't do as many reps now as you did before, and that's completely normal. Fantastic. Three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest. We're on to our bicep curls for the last time before our final tricep extensions. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, nice, good movement, building up our arm strength with this first superset. Great work. You've got 10 seconds, fantastic. Almost there. Three, two, one, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Right, get ready for our last tricep extension and then you're gonna have a rest. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. Tricep extension, great job. Standing nice and tall. And again, we're controlling our arms, controlling those weights. Fantastic, almost there. Five seconds, three, two, one, and have a rest. Have a sit down and have some water. Fantastic. Right, from now, you have that minute rest. A full minute starting now. So, we're gonna change our exercises. 
Now the next movement is a sit to stand. So remember, feet around about shoulder width, either hand on either shoulder, elbows up. From here, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna send your bum back, knees go out to the side, you're gonna lower with control. That's our only movement. But where's the superset, you might ask? Now, the first round of our sit to stand will be at a normal speed. When we do it for the second time, we're gonna go extra slow. Even if it only means you do one or two reps in the 20 seconds. Let's get ready to go. A normal speed sit to stand in three, two, one, let's go. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, and so forth. Controlling your movement, fantastic, well done. We have five seconds, great work. Three, two, one, lovely, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do it again now, but extra, extra slowly. As slow as you can in three, two, one, nice and slowly on the way up and down. How slow can you do each rep? Thinking about controlling your body the whole time. Three, two, one. Oh, that's tough. Get ready for our normal speed sit to stands in three, two, one. One, let's go, normal speed. So just a pace that you're comfortable with. Doesn't have to be particularly fast, not particularly slow either. Just at a good pace, fantastic. Lovely, almost there. Three, two, one. Ooh, great work, it's tiring, isn't it, tiring? Right, onto our slow sit to stand. How slow can you move in three, two, one, go extra slowly. Extra slowly. Don't hold your breath though. Great work. Keep those elbows up. Three, two, one. That was halfway on our sit stance. Get ready for our normal speed in three, two, one, let's go. Just normal speed, fantastic. Whew. Great work today so far. This is definitely the toughest superset of all three of them. Fantastic, almost there. We have three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest. Back to our slow movement sit to stand. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. The purpose of moving slowly is to think about our positioning, to be able to control our body weight here against the force of gravity. And it's harder to do that when we go slower. Tense those muscles, control yourself on the way down. And rest. 10 seconds, last round on each speed. Get ready to go. In three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, well done. Fantastic. Now sit down and up, down and up. Good stuff. We have 10 seconds, good stuff, almost there. Five. We have three, two, one. Lovely. 10 seconds rest, less than that now. Our last slow moving sit to stand in three, two, one, let's go, nice and slow please, control the movement, especially on the way down. Great job, fantastic. Almost there, we have three, two, one, and have a rest. Ooh, have some water, that's our sit to stands done. Mm, lovely. We have a minute rest from now. Our last superset today is our core superset. 
So, the first exercise is going to be our core hold, our seated core hold. In this position, I'm going to sit up nice and tall, feet on my shoulders, hands on my thighs. I'm going to lean back, squeeze my stomach muscles. I'm not going to let my back touch the back of my chair. I'm holding myself in place, using my stomach muscles at this angle. That's our first exercise. The second one is a seated sit-up, similar movement. We're going to sit back, squeeze the stomach, don't let your back touch the back of the chair, and then sit back up. So it's a seated sit-up, using our stomach muscles, pushing with our stomach muscles. Right, are we ready to go? Same again, with these core exercises we're going to hold in three, two, one, let's hold. Squeeze your stomach muscles. The further back you lean, the harder it gets. 10 seconds, fantastic. Big deep breaths. Three, two, one. Sit up and relax. When I count you back in, we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Seated, sit up in three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze. Come forward. Lovely stuff. Well done. So we pause at that end point for a second and then sit back up nice and tall. And then we go straight back into the next rep. Almost there. Well done. Three, two, one. Ten seconds of rest. Relax. Take a deep breath. Let's get ready for our hold. In three, two, one. One, lean back, squeeze your stomach, hold yourself in place. Keep your feet on the floor the whole time throughout this whole superset. We have 10 seconds, great job. Just holding in place, fantastic. Three, two, one, lovely. And now sit up. And now we're going to go back to our seated sit-ups. In three, two, one. One, seated sit-ups. The only thing that's moving is my upper body, my feet are staying and my legs are staying exactly where they are. Pause myself when I lean back and then come straight back up. Five seconds, well done. Three, two, one. Ten seconds of rest, fantastic. We're gonna do our seated hold in three, two, one. One, and hold, round three out of four. Well done, great work, this is tough. And breathe, don't hold your breath. 10 seconds. Lovely, we have five, we have three, two, one. Oh, I'm feeling that in my stomach now, great work. We are getting closer. Ready for our seated sit-ups in three, two, one. One, seated sit-ups. Lovely. Good, consistent movement. And then the further back I lean, the harder it is to sit back up, you know, with good movement anyway. Fantastic. Three, two, one. Great work, 10 seconds. We have our seated hold coming up in three, two, one, our last seated hold today. Fantastic, great work. Giving everything a nice squeeze through the midline. Holding yourself in place, 10 seconds, well done. We have five, we have three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest, fantastic. Right, are we ready for our last seated sit up? In three, two, one and let's go sit back come up and keep moving through those two end points fantastic great work 10 seconds lovely almost there we have five we have three two one and have a rest and get yourself a sip of water please Fantastic. That is our session done today. Did a great job. 
it was purely strength based work you know the first superset was to help strengthen the arms all down the uh, the forearm the bicep the tricep and a little bit of shoulders as well the sit to stand for our lower body or our full body movement it's actually a full body movement and it's a functional movement you know we sit to stand in everyday life when we get out of bed when we sit down to eat dinner when we get in and out of the car so it's important we practice it every single day including in these sessions you know because we want to keep being able to do that movement efficiently and safely you know for as long and long and long as long as we live you know as, as, as you know throughout the rest of our lives and then of course we did our core superset strengthen the midline protect the lower back helps improve all of your other movements because everything through the midline can stabilize and keep everything nice and solid. And that's it. Have as much rest as you need. We are gonna move on to our stretch. I'll see you in a second. You did a great work. Let's finish off with a nice cool down. Right. Are we ready to have a nice stretch to cool down? Because I know I am. First of all, let's start with the arms. Take your right hand out, place your left hand on top of the right hand, and then pull your fingers down, send the right elbow, or the inside of the elbow, should I say, up to the sky. This is for our biceps and our forearms and our wrists. And breathe, long, deep, relaxing breaths. We've done the hard work now, so we're rewarding ourselves with a good old fashioned stretch. Lovely. And let's just swap sides. Left arm out, palm up, right hand goes on top of the left fingers, and then you're going to pull the fingers down the inside of the elbow, you push it up to the ceiling. Fantastic. If you can, keep the arms at shoulder height. Great work. Lovely, and release that stretch. Take your right hand, place it behind your head so that your fingers rest on the base of the neck or you know the middle upper part of the, the back. Take your left hand and put it down uh, the back to get a nice stretch down our tricep, the uh, muscle or the area, the main muscle that we were working during those tricep extensions. A gentle pull with the left hand just to increase the stretch as well. Fantastic. And swap sides. Left arm goes behind the head and rests on the, the neck or the middle upper back. Take the right hand, put it on the left elbow and just pull it down gently. Great work. If you enjoyed that session today, we appreciate your feedback. Let us know how you got on. If you're viewing this via our website, fitforgood.com, just scroll down on the page you're on and you'll be able to find a comment box. Leave us a comment. It'd be lovely to hear from you. And release that stretch. Next one we're going to do is for our legs and hips. So I want you to hold on to something. I'm going to use my chair. You can use a wall, a ledge, just something stable. And I want you to pull your left heel up to the left side of your glutes. If you can't quite grab the foot like this, just raise the leg or use your clothes to pull it a little bit further up. For our quadriceps, hips, and even the knees. If you want more sessions just like this one, you can find a huge growing library on our website, fitforgood.com, just click FFG online. You can find general fitness sessions like this one, seated sessions, flexibility sessions, quick exercises and movement technique. You can access it all there and do them whenever you feel like. Release that stretch and let's just swap sides. Same again, but with the right side of the body. Remembering to take long deep breaths and really just trying to relax as well. It's always nice once the hard work is done, you know, it feels good, you know, knowing that you can relax when, uh, when this stretch is over. Lovely. 
Anyway, release that stretch. So I just zoned out then. I was sort of, uh, you know, feeling a bit fatigued after the session. Uh, anyway, a couple more. I want you to take a nice, wider leg position. And if it feels okay to do so, uh, I want you to round over, trying to get your hands to the floor. If you can't get your hands to the floor, lean over a sofa or your chair or anything like that. Be careful if you have any lower back issues. You don't want to round the spine if you've got a condition that you know you, you that causes you you know pain or discomfort or you, you just can't round the spine. So I, if, if if that's the case, I want you to keep your back nice and flat. Whatever position you are in, whether you've got your hands on the floor, a footstool, or a sofa, or a chair, just relax into this nice lower back and groin stretch. And from here, slowly come up, bring your feet in, place them under your hips, and now reach up to the sky, Lean back a little bit as to open up everything through the hips, the core, um, and up, up towards the chest. And breathe. A nice stretch for the front side of the body. And from here, take your hands down, and we are done today. Have a nice sit down and have some water. Lovely jubbly. That is our session done today. As always, you did a fantastic job. It was good to have you here, following along with me, doing these tough movements. Tough, but effective, you know. Stuff that is gonna make us stronger, protect our joints, make our joints healthier, you know, and just improve our quality of life. You're done now though. You could listen to me rabbit on forever, but I'm not gonna spare, I'm not, I'm not gonna put you through that, should I say, I'm not gonna put you through that. Have a rest now, have a nice cup of tea and a biscuit, and I'll see you in the next Fit For Good online session. Have a fantastic day, everybody.